Reading quotes and life lessons is like delving into the profound thoughts of great thinkers. These carefully selected aphorisms can offer valuable insights and help us navigate through life's complexities. And in this video, we have the privilege of conversing with one of the most influential figures of the 20th century, George Orwell. If a man cannot enjoy the return of spring, why should he be happy in a labor-saving utopia? What will he do with the leisure that the machine will give him? In a society in which there is no law, and in theory no compulsion, the only arbiter of behavior is public opinion. But public opinion, because of the tremendous urge to conformity in gregarious animals, is less tolerant than any system of law. There is no test of literary merit except survival. A tragic situation exists precisely when virtue does not triumph, but when it is still felt that man is nobler than the forces which destroy him. If you live for others, you must live for others, and not as a roundabout way of getting an advantage for yourself. No one can look back on his school days and say with truth that they were altogether unhappy. Threats to freedom of speech, writing and action, though often trivial in isolation, are cumulative in their effect and, unless checked, lead to a general disrespect for the rights of the citizen. It appears to me that one defeats the fanatic precisely by not being a fanatic oneself, but on the contrary by using one's intelligence. What is needed is the right to print what one believes to be true, without having to fear bullying or blackmail from any side. Poverty frees them from normal standards of behavior, just as money frees people from work. Within certain limits, it is actually true that the less money you have, the less you worry. Beggars do not work, it is said, but then, what is work? It is curious how people take it for granted that they have a right to preach at you and pray over you as soon as your income falls below a certain level. It is one of the tragedies of the half-educated that they develop late when they are already committed to some wrong way of life. In a country like England, you can no more be cultured without money than you can join the cavalry club.